Nissan Qashqai is a little bit of a legend. It first launched back in 2007 and there's been three generations of the car. This is the latest third generation Qashqai. It's a very familiar sight on Irish roads and a staple of the school run. Many kids will have grown up in the back of one of these. But in recent years, the Qashqai's crown has been threatened by the Hyundai Tucson, the Kia Sportage, and even the Toyota RAV4, as this segment has moved away from diesel towards hybrid. But now Nissan bites back with this. It's the new Qashqai e-power hybrid. I'm Caroline Kidd, and you're watching the Car Zone YouTube channel. Remember, you can find more Nissans for sale on carzone.ie, Ireland's trusted motoring marketplace. And before we get into the rest of the video, please click subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest videos. The Qashqai is available as a petrol mild hybrid, or is this full hybrid and the full hybrid has a few natural advantages in that it's more powerful it also has a single gear automatic transmission as standard and it also promises more efficiency as well compared to the petrol mild hybrid certainly you notice that extra power right away from behind the wheel it's got 190 horsepower the delivery of power is also really smooth and it's very quiet and refined here at speed. It's also comfortable by class standards, there's just a little bit of firmness over some bumps and ruts in the road surface. Nissan's e-power hybrid is very innovative really in that it uses a 1.5 litre petrol engine that never actually drives the wheels. It's used as a generator to charge the battery which then powers the electric motor to turn the wheels and that's why you get this near silent almost like an electric vehicle driving experience from behind the wheel it's very smooth and it's very refined the official consumption figure is about 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers and during my time with the car i'm averaging between about six liters and seven liters and at the moment it's resting at about 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres, which is fine for a petrol hybrid SUV like this. I think there are gains in efficiency over the petrol mild hybrid, especially when you consider that this car has more power. I wouldn't completely discount that petrol mild hybrid. It's, it also offers a nice driving experience behind the wheel, even with its manual gearbox. But I think this e-power hybrid does really suit the Qashqai. It's just a more powerful and refined driving experience. This third generation Nissan Qashqai certainly has curb appeal when you compare it to its rivals like the RAV4, the Sportage and the Tucson. It's got Nissan's new design language and I think it's a car that you'll be proud to own. And if you go for the hybrid, it's a high spec car as standard. So you get 18 inch alloy wheels and this SVE model, which is top of the range, comes with 19 inch. Howard's tailgate comes as standard on some of the higher trim levels and it opens to reveal a boot of about 500 litres. Now that's not class leading but it's still a good size for family life and the Qashqai has a number of clever features as well like this false floor that can be used to create a flat sill and you can also use it as a divider just like that. And the boot space is the same whether you go for the mild hybrid petrol or for the full hybrid. One feature that I really love about this new Qashqai are these rear doors that open at almost 90 degrees. So that makes access in and out of the car really simple. And also if you have to fix child seats. And then once seated, there is 
plenty of leg room and also plenty of headroom for adults or children. This car sits on a longer wheelbase than the car it replaces and it's also a little bit wider. So it does feel that little bit more spacious inside. There's also a rear armrest with two cup holders and this top of the range model has a few USB ports and also some rear vents as well. Inside, the latest Qashqai offers a really great cabin experience. So it's got a very simple and minimalist design. It's easy to navigate and find the controls that you want. And it also has really good quality, lots of soft touch materials. But for the full digital experience, we think you'll want to go up to the SV Premium model. That retails from about €46,000. And you get this full digital driver display and also this very impressive 12-inch touchscreen. And that comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and a wired Android Auto connection. There's also physical controls for the ventilation, which we really like to see. Other standard features include dual zone automatic climate control, there's a reversing camera, and there's also a full suite of standard safety equipment. What I'm driving here today is the top of the range SVE model, and it retails from about 52,000 euro, which is a lot of money for a Qashqai, but it's packed with luxury features. For example, it gets these very nice quilted Nappa leather seats, and they come heated, but they also have a massage function. I never thought I'd see the day where you have massage seats in a Qashqai. There's also a Bose stereo and a heated steering wheel. The Nissan Qashqai is one of Ireland's favourite family cars and it has been for many years. This latest version is a big step up from the car it replaces. The new e-power hybrid offers a smooth and powerful drive, but whether you go for the petrol mild hybrid or this full hybrid, the Qashqai is a great buy. But what do you think? Would you have this over a Hyundai Tucson or a Kia Sportage? Leave a comment and let us know. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Remember, you can find more cars for sale on carzone.ie, Ireland's trusted motoring marketplace. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.